What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this episode we're going to talk about my first impressions on the PlayStation 5. So yeah, that's right, um, I finally got my hands on a PlayStation 5. Now, I don't know, probably a year ago, maybe even a little bit more at this point, I made a video talking about how I was not going to pick up a PlayStation 5. Uh, and the reason for that is because I didn't want to go through all the craziness that was happening, you know, around all the pre-orders and not having enough systems and stuff like that. Uh, in that video, I said I had no problem waiting about six months to pick a system up. I didn't need one right at launch. Uh, but I must say, uh, I didn't think I was going to have to wait almost a year to get one of these. So probably a few months ago, I started actively trying to pick one of these up. I didn't want to pay a scalper. That was completely off the table. So I finally got one of these at retail. Now I did have to buy one of the bundles that they had available. So I did pay more than $500, but I got, you know, stuff with it, I guess you could say. Um, and like I said, I bought it from a retail location, so I didn't have to pay a scalper, which is fantastic. Uh, so in this video, I just want to talk about kind of my first impressions of the system. Plus, I think I've bought six games for the PlayStation 5 specifically that I, I kind of want to talk about a few of those and give my first impressions of those as well. Um, so for the system itself, this is a great system. Let me just go ahead and say that right off the bat. This is maybe, and, and this is just early speculation. I've only had the system for about a week, but it's definitely one of my favorite ones I've ever played on. The controller is absolutely fantastic. The tech that they have put in that controller is crazy. Um, they've taken like the HD rumble, uh, to a whole new level on this controller. It, does a lot of things and it does it very very well it's a very comfortable controller as well um, the game uh, the system comes with uh, a game called uh, Astrobot which I'll talk about a little bit more but it really utilizes and shows you the different functions of the controller very very well um, the graphics so if you guys haven't been a PC gamer um, this is some of the best uh, visually stunning games that you've probably ever played um, especially if you have a really really good TV that can utilize the uh, you know the resolution that the system can put out and stuff like that like I said PC gamers have been playing you know at 4k 60 frames per second for a while but if you're just a console gamer this is probably some of the best you've ever seen uh, so on that note this has become kind of an expensive uh, journey for me because once I got the PS5 I decided to go ahead and get a new 4K TV for my living room. Um, we bought the 4K TV in my living room back in 2016, so it was time to upgrade. Uh, 4K TVs obviously have gotten better over time and cheaper for that matter. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up a new 75 inch uh, Samsung 4K UHD TV. Uh, and the PlayStation 5 looks amazing on it. The games look amazing on it. I have nothing but great things to say about the visuals for these games that I've played so far. Um, the load times are great because the SSD in the actual PlayStation 5, you don't really have much loading like you did, you know, back in the day uh, with this space systems. Uh, the SSD really helps out a lot. Um, the interface is really, really easy to navigate. I really haven't had any troubles with that. Uh, now. I don't really purchase games on online or whatnot. I don't really do digital games, so I haven't really like dived into that. And I don't use the PlayStation for anything other than playing video games on. Uh, but that experience has been fantastic. I really haven't had any issues with that. Uh, I do wish that these systems had bigger hard drives. These games are getting huge. Uh, so I've put, I don't know, six games on there or so. And I think I'm down to only like 400 gigabytes of free space on the system. Uh, so you can connect external storage to them to add, you know, storage to the system. But I know they're just trying to keep the cost down. But having under one terabyte of free space on these systems is kind of crazy considering the size of the games. But like I said, visuals are great. The controller is absolutely amazing. Um, the games that I've played are a whole, whole lot of fun. Uh, there aren't a lot of exclusive games yet for the PlayStation 5, at least, you know, AAA titles, but what's out there, really, really fun. And a lot of times if they have, like, a PS4 counterpart, the PS5 version is better overall. Uh, so if you have a PS5, that's probably the way to go to play those games. Um, 
So yeah, for the system itself, I don't really have many complaints, to be completely honest with you. I think the game system looks a little bit better laying down horizontally than it does standing up vertically. I've had it both ways. Um, I like it horizontal better. Uh, the system's a little bit loud when it's reading off the disc, I must admit. I was a little bit shocked by that. Uh, but the system isn't loud overall once, you know, it settles down, I guess you could say. Uh, the, the controller has good battery life, as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah, there's not really a lot of negatives, um, but I like the system a lot. I'm happy to finally get one. I hope Sony can ramp up production, but obviously at this time with, you know, the global issues that we're having and stuff like that, it's hard to produce a lot of these systems. But I do hope that they're able to get more of them out in the near future. Um, but yeah, I love the system. And I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about some of the games that I've bought. Like I said, I've bought six games for this system so far specifically. Um, so when it comes to the games, I'm just giving kind of like a first impression. I've played all of these games for two hours or less. So it would be, this isn't really a review. It's kind of just like first impressions and just, you know, showing you what I've been playing on it. So first up, we have the uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales game. Um, this launched on PS4 as well. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about this game. If you played Spider-Man on PS4, this is very, very similar. Um, I really like the storyline so far in this game. Uh, the opening battle that you go through with Rhino is really, really fun. Uh, the combat is a lot of fun in this game. Sometimes it throws a lot of enemies at you at one time. Uh, but once you learn the, uh, you know, the combat system, it's not that bad, and if you've been playing games like this, then you should already have it down pat pretty well. Um, it's a lot of fun. This game looks absolutely amazing. The lighting effects in this game are great. But yeah, Spider-Man Miles Morales, I can highly recommend this game. If you don't have a PS5 played on PS4, this is a ton of fun, especially if you like those action-adventure story-driven games like this. But yeah, Spider-Man, fun one on the PS5. Um, so next up, this one had a lot of controversy circling this game, but we have Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, so this game obviously is a PS4 game, but this game was actually meant to run on the PS5. Uh, when it came out, it didn't run on the PS4 very well at all. I don't know how well they fixed that. There has been a lot of fixes for this game in general, but the PS uh, playing this on the PS5 has been nothing but great. Like I said, I've played this for about two hours now, so I'm not too far into it. But I haven't really ran into any like major glitching in this game or anything like that. The story in this game is very intriguing. I love the atmosphere of this game, the visuals of this game. Uh, it's just a really, really cool open world game. It's gorgeous, and I can't wait to see exactly you know, where the game takes me or whatnot. Um, when you're starting this game up and you're in the, uh, you know basically creating your character or whatnot. I don't really know if I needed all that nudity or whatnot. You can turn that off, I guess, but I was a little bit shocked to see that, to be honest with you, especially so early in the game. I don't really know what kind of part that plays throughout the game, but, you know, could do without the nudity, I guess. But this is a fun game. If you guys haven't played this, I feel kind of bad. I know they've lost a lot of money on this game. I'm sure they have. Um, I picked this up at Target brand new for 10 bucks. I mean, you can't really beat that. And like I said, on PS5, this plays absolutely great. And if you like those first-person shooter, open-world, story-driven games, this is definitely something you should check out. Um, I hope it plays better on the PS4 now. I could put it in my PS4 Pro and see how it plays, but to be honest with you, I don't really see the purpose of that. But yeah, Cyberpunk 2077, really fun game. And uh, I've been enjoying this a lot from what I've been playing. Alright, so next up, we have Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Um, so yeah, the Ratchet & Clank games have been really popular for a long time now. This game is kind of like a showcase of what the PS5 can do. Um, there's a lot of really, really fun um, like interdimensional travel in this game. And there's really no loading between like going through portals and stuff like that. But, you know, if you've played any Ratchet and Clank game this is very very similar to those as far as like combat goes but I mean you can get some really cool weapons in this game uh, the story is really really fun so far 
Um, having a lot of fun with this, but you know, it's a pretty typical Ratchet and Clank game so far. Um, I, like I said, I've only played this for about an hour to an hour and a half, so I don't really know exactly, you know, where it goes from the beginning of the game. But so far, I really, really like this. The story's intriguing, um, and I'm sure you guys will like it if you've played many Ratchet and Clank games in the past. Alright, so last up for the games I've really played that I've bought physically, uh, we have Sackboy, um, A Big Adventure. So this game came out on PS4 as well. Um, this game, the art style is so cool. Um, it's got a very unique art, sty uh, art style, so, you know, that's kind of worth the price of admission to me to begin with. The visuals in this game are a whole lot of cool. Um, and if you like classic 3D platformers, this is definitely a game for you. Uh, it kind of reminds me a lot of those old 3D platformers. I'm not very far into this game, but the visuals are stunning. The gameplay, the controls are really, really tight. It's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying playing this, so this is definitely one to pick up if you haven't. I've seen this on the PS4 go for really, really cheap. Um, I bought this copy pretty cheap for PS5, so definitely check this one out if, you're, if you like those classic 3D platformers. Uh, the other game that I've played came on the system... Um, and it's the uh, Astrobot game, which is kind of what I was talking about a little bit earlier. It's more or less just a tech demo, I guess you could call it. It um, shows you how to use the controller, pretty much. It shows all the def different types of technology that the controller has built into it. And although it is a tech demo, it's a pretty long tech demo. I've played it for at least an hour now, and I'm not anywhere near completing it. Um, but it, it can be a little bit challenging uh, just learning how to use the controller, uh, but there's enemies in it. You know, it's basically like a mini 3D platforming adventure game. Um, I really like Astrobot. I really like the PS4 VR game, so I'm kind of hoping that he makes more returns on the PlayStation console. Maybe they're going to be putting out a new uh, VR headset for the PS5. It'd be cool to have a follow-up to the VR game um, in the future. But yeah, that's a fun game. If you like that kind of stuff, play it. I mean, why not? It's free with the system, so I mean, you can't really beat that. Uh, the other games that I bought that I have not had a chance to play yet is uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, which I know came out on many other systems. Um, but this game seems like a lot of fun from just reading about it or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this in the near future. If you guys have played this, let me know how it is. I would love to know. And the other game I bought, I saw this for $12 on Amazon, so I figured why not. We have the Crazy Chicken Shooter Edition, which is basically the Crazy Chicken Remake and uh, Wanted. But it says this is Ultra HD 4K, so it's kind of interesting they remade this. Um, I kind of just bought this because it was $12, to be honest with you. I don't even know if I'm going to open this, but I just figured, I mean, it's $12, why not? It's a PS5 game. And I thought that was pretty silly that they put this out on the PS5 to begin with. But yeah, um, but I want to mention real quick, I, I meant to talk about it at the beginning of the video, but I just thought about it when I was talking about Astrobot. Um, I do hope that they're planning on putting out a new uh, VR headset. I have PlayStation VR for the PS4, and I know you can use that headset on the PS5 if you like send out for a special cable or something like that, but the... Uh, the PS4 VR headset is pretty outdated. Uh, the PS5 could power a much better headset with higher resolutions. So I do hope that Sony is working on a, uh, you know, like a new VR headset that would be absolutely amazing for the future. So let's hope they do that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 after owning it for about a week. And, you know, playing a few games, talking about those a little bit. Hopefully I put some gameplay footage in here to show you guys how bad I suck at video games, but that's all right. I enjoy playing them. That's all that matters. But guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you have a PlayStation 5 yet? Have you been trying to pick one up? If you have it, do you like it? I would love to know your experiences with the PlayStation 5 and if you have one. But guys, it's probably going to do it for this video. But first, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. For now, guys, Probably going to go play some PlayStation 5, maybe open up some boxes, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.